Hi guys, Chewie from Pro Drones again. So we've just got the uh, RTK hat for the Mavic 3 Enterprise system. Uh, so we're going to look at how all this is going to fit into the box and uh, how it works. So yeah, stick with us and we'll find out. First and foremost, this little thing is an optional accessory. It fits on the top of both the MX3 Enterprises. So it serves two functions. On the M3E, this is what that turns it into the Phantom Term 4 RTK equivalent, which means for survey mapping. And on the M3T, if you fit this on, this makes it equivalent to the M2EA in the sense that you will have precise positioning with this hat. Uh, note that you will only get the Rhinex data that is saved uh, when you use the this hat on the M3E. On the M3T, even though you have this on, you will not have Rhinex data saved together. So uh, you still can't use that uh, dual purpose for mapping. Uh, plus, you still don't have the mechanical shutter, so it's not as good anyway. Okay. So uh, first of all, let's see how this fits into the box and how this fits onto the aircraft. So finally, we figured out uh, what this little pocket is for. So this will fit into the box just neatly like this. Right? It's a removable tray, so you can turn it upside down. So uh, the other accessory which we don't have in this space is the speaker. Let's take a closer look at the head. Now, if you notice um, in the previous video, um, the aircraft. Uh, sorry. So let's take a closer look at certain things. Now, let's see the aircraft. Now, the top of the, the aircraft has this uh, little rubber flap here with two screw holes on the side. So if you lift this open, you will expose the connector here. It looks like a Type-C, right? But um, as usual, there's some kind of a directional indicator, so you can't fit things in reverse. Okay. Now, if you look closely here, they've done the exact same uh, of the opposite, right? So this is the head. And if you look underneath, there is a pocket here. So this is for the rubber flap on the cover here. So this one just fits on basically just like that. So this thing fits on basically just like that. All right? Make sure you screw it on. Okay, so now this is fixed on. Coincidentally, with this uh, piece on, you can then now close, still close the cover. You don't have to take it in and out, which is great if you only do mapping most of the time because uh, removing it frequently also reduces the lifespan of the connector on top. Differences now, if you enter, hit enter camera view and we look in the menu, you will see now there's an RTK menu. So if you press RTK, you will have a menu very similar to what's on the M300. Now you have multiple options of uh, sources to connect to. Uh, you would still be able to connect to your DRTK2 mobile station, which means uh, great if you have a P4R with a mobile DRTK2, you can still continue to use it. Or you can have a custom network RTK. So note two things. One is um, unlike having the uh, P4RTK, you can, can run Wi-Fi. So at the moment we have a Wi-Fi running and uh, we also have the uh, system connected to the aircraft. So you still can have your uh, custom network RTK run off Wi-Fi, um, which is handy. Uh, at the same time, uh, it doesn't cut the aircraft off um, but you still can have your DRTK2, unlike the M2EA. So with the M2EA, you wouldn't be able to connect to the DRTK2. Right. So uh, what's left is just to fly, collect data, and just to show you uh, how much of a difference it makes. The RTK connected, now you have access to this RTK menu. Now with this RTK menu, uh, you would have multiple sources of uh, RTK to connect to. The first is the DRTK2 mobile station, which you can use, uh, unlike the M2EA. 
to connect to the DRT gate to mobile station, what all you need to do is to set the DRT gate to mobile station in mode five. Then um, you can then connect to it, right? So if I put DRTK2, and then here, you could then connect to the station. The other one would be to connect to your customer RTK, like your calls or N-trip. Um, and the nice part about this one is that, unlike uh, the P4 RTK in other regions, other than North America, you would now be able to connect to your uh, Wi-Fi. So this would make it e easier because uh, not every region would have the uh, 3G dongle for this remote. So I guess what's left is just to fly and then just to compare the accuracy of the system.